Hey guys, Scott here. In this tutorial, we're going to look at structuring content in Joomla. Joomla uses sections and categories. So if I scroll down here, I've got a diagram that helps here. So the way Joomla works, you have a section that you can create. For example, on my site, one of my sections are pre-building, creating, promotion, making money, tools, and reviews. So they're all sections. And you'll notice sec each section has categories within those sections. And the categories are basically like for creating the categories here, uh, getting your own website, see panel, Joomla, WordPress. So they're categories. So if you go back to the image, the top level is a section. So you want to create a section, basically the main heading for the topic of this section. So let's just take creating, for example, for creating a website. Creating was my section. And every section has multiple categories under them. So for creating, I had Joomla, WordPress, etc. So that'd be like Joomla, WordPress, and the others. And then every category then has articles under them. So I'd have creating, Joomla, how to install Joomla. That, that'd be one of my articles. And for a basic example of how, like how this actually sets out, um, for an article, for this example here, I just said article six. So article six here would be accessed by yoursite.com forward slash section one, because it's under section one, forward slash category three, because it's the category three, and article six. So that's sort of how it'd be displayed. Now, currently, Joomla 1.5 doesn't allow you to post articles under sections. They have to be posted under categories. And there is only one other spot you can post them to, which is an uncategorized section. So basically that means that it's not stored under any section or category. But usually it's best off, you're best off putting all your articles under a category that's under a section. For another example to try and help you understand better, um, this article here, how to structure this content in Joomla 1.5, which is this page you see here, is stored under Joomla and create website is the section. So if we look at it up here, my section is creating or create website and then Joomla 1.5 is the category it's stored to. So that's, if you're a bit confused, you might understand better when I show you from the back end of the administrator side. So let's just log into Joomla. So now if you're on the administrator side, you'll notice there's from here, there's categories and sections. So you section manager, category manager. You can also access these under content, section manager and category manager. So since sections are the top level, let's select those now because you need to do sections first. Now I have the sample data installed. So in the sample data, there's three sections which are those three. And then you'll see there's number of categories in each section is three, two, four. So a bad Joomla has three categories under it. News has two and FAQs have four. So now let's just pretend there's none here because they're not, you're not gonna use those for your website. So now say you wanna make yours, you'd click new. So in the section manager, click new. And we're going to create a new section. So put in the title, which I'm just going to go new section. Now the alias is what's used in the URL instead of the title. So usually just leave this the same. I'll, I leave it blank because then it uses this. Whatever your title name is, it will use that as well. Now you can choose the access level. So if you want everyone to be able to see this, I'll just leave it as public. But if you want only people that are registered to your website and are logged in to see this content, select registered. And you could ignore special unless you know what you want to use it for. I'm going to leave it set to public so that everyone can see it. You can put it in the description here, but you can leave that blank for now as well because you can come back and change that if you need to. So once you've typed in your section, click save. So now you see there's a new section. Let's say that section was called creating. And I wanted to add the category now under it of Joomla. I can go content from up here. 
it's like category. Now you'll see there's all the sample categories and you'll see here what sections they're actually assigned to. Now we want to make our own category. So we're going to click new category. So now we want to name the category. So let's say I wanted to do the creating one. So I put in creating. I'm going to leave the alias again so that it uses my title. I'm going to leave it set to public. You can set it to registered if you want. Now here's where you select the section it's assigned to. I want to assign this to new section because that was the section I created for this. You can enter a description if you want, but I'm going to leave that blank for now. Click save. So now if we scroll down, you'll see if we try and find creating, there it is. It's assigned to a new section. Now this hasn't actually added any content to our website. This is just structuring pretty much the tree of how our content is going to be stored. So you've got your top level of the tree is the section and then you've got your categories under it and then all your articles go under a category. So now let's say we wanted to publish an article. You go to the article manager. Now you can see all the sample content there. They're all the sample ones that are installed when I tick install sample data. And you, can, you can see every single article is assigned to a section and a category. It says the section they're in here and then the category. Now this one here doesn't say either. This is because this one is actually set to the section of uncategorized. So that means it doesn't go under anything. So that basically this here would be for the, like an example of the URL, it would be um, yoursite.com forward slash example pages and menu links. It wouldn't actually have a category or a section. So let's create our own article. Click new. Now you'll see you have to select a section and a category. So this article, we can call this how to install Joomla. You have to select the section, which would be the new section that I wanted to put it under. And then there's only the one category, so it automatically selects that for me. But if you've got multiple categories, you choose the category you want it to be under. And then you you can paste your article here if you've written it elsewhere, or you can write your article in here. I recommend pre-writing articles and copying and pasting them across. I'll talk more about publishing articles and all the details of the articles in a different tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to focus on sections and categories. So if you're still confused, think of it like your menus. So if I come back to my site, you can think of all the main headings here as sections. And every section has categories, which are the list underneath them, are the categories. And then each article I've got here are the articles. So this one here, uploading files through cPanel, is stored under the category of cPanel and the section of creating. That's basically how I use all my sections and categories. Every main heading I have is a section and every subheading is a category. And then every article has to be posted under a category. Feedback is always recommended. And if you didn't understand this video at all, or you're still confused about sections and categories, I do want your feedback. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, please post a comment, let me know that you're still confused or what parts you're confused at or how you'd like me to change the tutorial. Or if you're watching this on my site, you can just scroll to the bottom here and click contact me and send me an email or a message and let me know that you're still confused that the video didn't help you and you need it to be explained better or anything and yeah so just let me know your feedback